On this week's episode, we talk about the instigators. And other pop culture news from the week. So, we watched a couple of great movies this week. Someone told me that we should start the episodes like dancing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we'll put wow. There's a reason free, we don't do that. Variety free uh, music in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Oof. Okay. So, instigators. This. <laughs> instigators. Maybe instigating. That's one of one thing uh, we're gonna talk about instigators new movie on Apple oh, uh, Apple oh. TV. One of the things is like does does I don't think it, it means what they think it means, right? Yeah, that, no, that is definitely like I, I and I was actually consciously like thinking this throughout the movie. What exactly have our main characters instigated? Yeah, not much. Uh -huh. Other people are instigating things, mm. but not the main characters. Yes, as far as I can tell. So. so. The instigators is about this heist uh, where everything goes wrong. Truly, everything much, goes wrong. Yeah. It's set in Boston. We've got Matt Damon and Casey Affleck. Produced by also the, the brother Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Directed by Duke, uh, Duke Lyman. Known for uh, Born, Jumper, yes. and several other things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so we start off with a heist. It's supposed to be straightforward, and it is a catastrophic failure. And then the rest of the movie, we're just kind of trying to pick up the pieces and figure out what to do. And um, in the meantime, there's like relationship issues and personal issues and demons and all the rest that they've got to overcome. And 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 that's that's your movie. I really enjoyed it. I yeah, it was, it, was good. it was fun. It was funny, mm -hmm. uh, even though it's kind of weird. Having Affleck there, Casey Affleck there, mm, you know, with, with, the, with the whole uh, sexual harassment yeah. accusations and allegations and all that, mm -hmm. you know, it was Me Too, but I guess Me Too is kind of dying out, everybody that was Me Too is, is coming back. Yeah, so that was uh, super effective. Yeah. Anyways, but the movie, it's it's uh, uh, it's fun, it's funny. I did, I did, I did think about it uh, as I could date because Matt Damon and, and Ben Affleck are like long time pals. They are good mm -hmm. friends, and uh, I've, and he produced the movie. I kept thinking if it would work with with Ben instead of Casey, but I guess Casey, it's like there's there's a lot of loser elements. It kind of a his character is like there's a like loser vibes yeah and it feels like and it, he reads worked, a lot younger like and it worked better with 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 casey mm -hmm. i don't think if, uh ben could put put out that loser on that way uh anymore or maybe he could he's a good actor he's a good actor yeah i don't know anyways mm -hmm. uh the movie also has alfred molina mm -hmm. it has uh what's his bucket he was hellboy yeah i'm blanking on his name but Hellboy as a one of Hellboys corrupt... at this point there's like three, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, super corrupt mayor. Yeah. Which he's I, you don't want to tell someone like, wow, you're such a natural at this role. But this was a good fit. Like it, yeah. he he did well. Everyone did a good job. I think everyone was well cast and we had nice, consistent writing, clever writing. Um, there's a really interesting therapist who comes and goes. Um there, there's a lot going on in the movie, but it's it's not what we expect. It's not what I expected um, at all. But overall, I, I really enjoyed it. It was it was nice. Ron Perlman. There it is. Good yeah, job. Yeah, the, the the Hellboy guy. Uh, and no, no, it was fun. Mm -hmm. It's uh, surprisingly they made the uh, Democrats bad guys. It was like, <gasps> <gasps> guys, you Hollywood, you can't do that. Yeah. I guess they didn't get the memo, but yeah, no. overall fun. Apple, mm -hmm. Apple has has uh, uh, its movies, and so far they do they do very decent jobs. Nothing crazy like, oh my gosh, how bad this is. Yeah, uh, everything we watch from Apple is 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 worth the time. Yeah, they've got a good it's, track it's record. Worth sharing, and mm -hmm. yeah, the instig. If there anything, the title is like it was confused for me when I first heard of it. Uh, mm -hmm. concerning the synopsis and trailers. And, yeah. And after watching, it's like, why? Why? 
you know, I don't I, think yeah. it means what they think it means. Or or it does, and I yeah. missed something. I, I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, we didn't miss anything. I guess it's just, it's like, hey, guys, let's pick a name. It's like, two guys in a crazy high. It's like, no, too long. Oh, <laughs> the specialist. Oh, no, there's already two movies with that name. Mm. Oh, the losers. Oh, there's already six movies with that name. Uh, what about instigators? Yeah. Said the guy in the back joking. And then people was like, yeah! Maybe, maybe <laughs> it's ironic. It. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, there's not a lot of instigating, but there yeah. is a lot of... A lot of... The movie is sort of, a little bit, maybe, kind of, instigating. So, that's why they call it instigators. <laughs> okay. I'll give you, I'll give you that one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, inst- the instigator is available on Apple TV Plus. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you should go check. Yeah, very worth your time. Okay, the next one we watch is also on streaming, and it's called The Bike Riders. Yes. This is a very accurate title because there's a lot of bikes and a lot, and of, riding. a lot of riders. And yes. our main characters ride the bikes. And by yeah, bikes, we mean motorcycles. The bikes are being ridden. Yeah. Uh, and no, this one is, is is fairly new. It's not it's not uh, super new. It was in the theaters a month or so ago, but because huh. traveling and and, uh, and agendas, yeah. uh, uh, I I had to be out of town on the week it came out. I wanted to watch, but <clears throat> again there was uh, also so many other things we wanted to watch. But we finally watched this. It's available on streaming. If you have uh, Peacock. Uh, the Olympics are almost over, so you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, the Olympics are over, right? Because oh, yes. we are in this right. time. Right, 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 right. We are in the future. Yes. So the Olympics were over a couple of weeks ago. You can fill that <laughs> hole in your soul with the bike riders. With the bike riders. They're not yeah. bicycles, so they're no. not like the, the weird cycling you see no, no, no. in the Olympics. Yeah, they what did the have. Heck a... was that indoor? <laughs> so I feel like outdoors, it makes a lot of sense. Like, the person who crosses the finish line first is the winner. Like, we start here and we end there, and you want to do it faster than everybody else, and that's it. But that indoor one was weird. Which one? The one where, like, they have the... Canyon? It had weird names, too. I, yeah. But no, all of them. Every, every event we saw, there was some Dang. weird twist with it. Like, the... Either, like, they have to hold up the... The coaches have to, like, hold up the bikes for them yeah. before they go, or there's, like, the pace... The pacer guy in front of him riding the motorcycle until ahead they, of everybody. They, they reach a specific until they reach the speed, speed 50, and then he gets out of the way. Like, it's, and, and then there's the one, oh, the, the Hunger Games one where like every lap somebody's big, getting big, kicked yeah, out. Yeah. Jeez. The last one, the, the last one on the big, the, the group. Mm-hmm. Bah! Is that how, is that how, oh, Hunger Games? No, it's a, it's a, it's yeah. a cannon, right? Boom! Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I don't know what's up with that sport, but good luck to all you guys, because holy cow. Yeah, uh, yeah. see you next, next uh, in four years. Yeah. For, for what, what's the next one? Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yep. And how great or terrible was the closing ceremony, right? <laughs> because, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm joking. Yeah, uh, great we have Because this is pre-recorded. When we yeah. watch this, it, we, we pre-recorded this before the closing mm-hmm. ceremonies. And besides the fact that you know and hope Tom Cruise is going to do some crazy stunts. Tom Cruise really yeah. did a job. Yeah. So how great and how offensive was the, 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 the closing ceremony, if there's yeah. anything like the, 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 mm-hmm. the opening. But while I'm going with that. Bike riders is where we started. Bike riders, yep. yes. Nothing to do with, Nothing <laughs> with the to Olympics do with anymore. Any of it. Oh, but yeah, but that's the thing. If it, the Olympics are over and, and you know, it's still, it's still heavy. It's like the biggest sport event of the summer. WWE yeah. also has, 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 right. has passed. So you can watch back Bike Riders. Mm-hmm. If you didn't see the movies, because yeah. it, it was really one that I wanted to watching the movies yeah but we didn't have the chance so we finally did unfortunately came to pick up pretty quick mm-hmm. and is available there uh stellar cast oh yeah tom hardy austin butler jody comer and other people who michael don't shannon remember. yes yeah people uh, just kept what norman reedus norman reedus yeah 
the guy I can't remember his name, but he was on Logan and he was on Narcos. He's a tall blonde guy yes. from Narcos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um, yeah, and so many others. It, it's it, it's really mm -hmm. a, a big cast. Directed by uh, Phil Nichols. Mm -hmm. Phil Nichols. Jack Nichols. Michael Nichols. Phil Nichols. Mr. Nichols. <laughs> Jack. Okay. He is definitely Nichols. So this is one, this movie is based on a series of interviews that this guy did um, across the 60s, was it across the 60s mostly? Jeff Nichols. Oh, you would have gotten there eventually. Yeah. You want to know what De Jeff Nichols made? Let's, let's. Look it up, babe. Quick peek. Uh, review, because I actually mm. saw this earlier. Uh, he did uh, Take Shelter with Michael Shannon, Mud with Michael. Oh, that's uh, right. Matt McGonaghy, Midnight Special with Michael Chin, uh, Love, they, 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 I guess they like to work together. Uh, Hank the Cow Dog, I love uh, those books. Oh, okay. Oh, they're hysterical. Uh, a Long Way Back Home, Loving, Loving is that the true story, right, about the, the biracial couple? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we need to see that one. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so accomplished uh, talented director. Uh, he was working on a quiet day, uh, a quiet place day one, mm -hmm. but he he moved from that to do this one, and which is totally fair. This is this yeah. was a pretty and, special and, and, project. And this one is a passion project. He wanted to do this for a while. Mm -hmm. He he played a biker movie, yeah. which has been forever since you had one. It had like uh, yeah. uh, Easy Rider. We had that. Uh, what's the one? The one. Uh, Marlon Brando, they mentioned on the movie. Mm. Uh, I don't remember the name. Anyways, yeah. So, so this one is is based on true stories, right? This this journalist did a series of recorded interviews, and and he took great photographs of this biker gang across like the '60s into the '70s a little bit. And so this film is based on those photographs and on those um, those interviews. I think he turned them into a book. Yeah. Um, and so at the end, as, as they often do, you know, they show the photographs of the real people. It took me a minute to realize, like, these aren't cool photographs of the movie because they did such a careful job with casting, with costumes, mm -hmm. recreating these looks. They did a, it's, you could tell that this is a passion project. Like, a lot of care, a lot of love went into all this. Um, and Jodie Comer basically kind of narrates the story we get her most of her role is talking to this journalist and kind of explaining you know the dynamics of the gang and and, and how things yeah, came uh, to be and, uh, and all that and uh, we don't know details from, from the book because again we, we didn't read a book mm -hmm. but is we a, do read we are literate yeah. people who value education and learning yeah. and reading there's just a lot of movies based on books and yeah so and, and the books in the books we read they they either don't make uh, a, a movie because they hard to make they like mm -hmm. uh, uh, like the Silmarillions like they hard they, they are afraid to make and they better yeah, be they afraid should be. they should not even make because yeah. they're gonna poop on it like Amazon is pooping on Ring of Power mm -hmm. uh, or or they do a terrible job so <laughs> it's yeah. it's tough for making a book. Into, mm -hmm. into a movie. Very few people uh, did. And yeah. blessed they are, and it will re be remembered <laughs> because it's not an easy job, especially dealing with big studios that say, like, hey, I have a great idea. Yeah. What if this character that is a man now is a woman? Or what if this mm -hmm. character that is, uh, uh, dies in the first chapter doesn't die, or vice versa? They have like some, uh, or mm. some, or some, uh, yeah. Some some great ideas from suits that know nothing about the uh, uh, respecting Art, craft, respecting the literature. source material, but just yeah. like I bet you would make a lot of money if this guy had a I don't know had a little trinket a little doll we can sell that some stupid <laughs> idea that make no sense in the movies or like hey I have a great idea what if Lady of Light Galadriel from from what's the place? Uh, Lothorian. Lothorian. Late Lothorian. Uh, actually, have a romance with saw on the Dark Lord. Oh. It's like seriously, you morons. Out of a very dumb show, that was yeah. the dumbest. Oh, all, all the ladies. What if the Jedi are actually bad guys? 
no. Anyways, so so what we do read, uh, mm -hmm. but but again, I guess uh, uh, about the book, we don't I don't know uh, a lot of details about the book. Mm. Uh, not reviewing a book, but uh, as 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 I said, is is heavily her interviews are heavily used mm -hmm. on the on the movie, which I assume is a, is a choice because I assume he interviewed everybody and he did have some uh, bits so. sound bites of other people too mm -hmm. but it may basically focus on her and yeah. her journey to this because it starts with her and ends with her in a very interesting way it does yeah yeah and it also kind of centers um we've got like the vandals as a whole um and tom hardy who's like vandals is the name of the yeah the, the what they call the club the, the club yeah yes which by the end feels so euphemistic. Um, and as as uh, uh, again uh, uh, about the club, it's interesting, not spoiling, but I guess it's historical, so that you can not technically call it mm. spoiler. But this whole thing started is like very very ner nerdistic way. Uh, the guy saw this thing in the movie. He's like, "Hey, eh, that's cool. Let's do that." So yeah. it's like it's kind of like cosplay. It, yeah. yeah, like a little bit of like motorcycle LARPing, if you will. Yeah, and 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 then they and then and that thing started, and they created this this uh, very uh, uh, strong bonds of friendship and and brotherhood. Mm -hmm. That it, it, it can be healthy, right? We we have that in many. You get that at church, you know. Yeah. Brotherhood and fellowship. And kind of tying in with that, there's a, a theme. That we saw throughout, and if you don't, if you don't pay attention, you'll miss it. But most of these guys, at some point, share a story or an experience where they reveal they they're they're kind of outcasts. Like they never they never fit in. Like maybe they struggled in school, or nobody liked them, or they were bullied, or their parents hate them. Like whatever, they, they've all kind of been rejected in one way or another. But then with this group, they find like acceptance and freedom, and something that they're good at, and like some peace from from the rest of the world like they're so i i thought that was interesting that this isn't about like yeah, i got my motorcycle rah, rah, rah. like it's, it's about like the friendship and the brotherhood at least it was at the beginning yeah that's what we were connected and that's what started mm -hmm. thing. but it, it, it grows it grows in, in ways that uh that that changes you know uh mm -hmm. even rome grew so much that it, it fell apart and then split and were invaded and all sorts of problems but anyway it's not about the invaded Roman. by vandals no, no, exactly actually. yeah there's a so. connection mm -hmm. but enough about the roman empire right there's people <laughs> say that man thinks about the roman empire i mean there's a lot there there's a lot there to think about Anyways, but but very very we're not gonna spoil as 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 usual. Yeah. Uh, but it has very interesting journeys. is is very well done. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's 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 a really well done movie about a very interesting subject mm -hmm. that uh, is being is being a source of material for movies. I mean, again, I, I mentioned uh, uh, Marlon Brando has one and Easy Rider mm -hmm. and has some some others. And it's a, it's a it's still part of our cultures. There's still clubs out there, uh, motorcycles, uh, 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 aficionados everywhere. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was cool. It was cool. It was very thoughtful. Great, great, great talented, great talent. Oh yeah. Behind. Like John Tom Hardy is is it's very good at. Yeah. Uh, which any any one of them alone. Yes. But then together, you you end up with this very thoughtful. Well, you see, you see, Look we just it, it like uh, lately, like, recently, we saw mm -hmm. him like doing Venom. They're like a crap show. He's it's a yeah. joke, right? Compared to the source material, I guess if you never read uh, Venom and how dark and how he, he eat people, yeah. uh, 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 you can accept the joke because the MCU is being put out uh, the cake formula of you know oh, for kicks and giggles. Like mm -hmm. shit, let's kick bad guys. Oh, no, the bad guys are not bad guys anymore. You know, <laughs> stuff like that. But and he came from Bane, right? And then went to Venom, that joke, and now he's back into like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, with Max in between. That's right, yeah. he's very good at yeah. that, anyways. Mm -hmm. Anything else about bike, the, the bike riders? The bike riders, no, it's it's lovely, it's good, it's it's, thoughtful, it's beautiful, it's worth seeing.
It's on Peacock. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, for our pop culture news section, pretty much everything's coming from D23, um, which is Disney's big convention. Obviously, as, as usual, there's lots of footage and sneak peeks and trailers and announcements and all that. So, yeah. that's what we got for you today. Disney's a greedy machine, right? They mm -hmm. had they had uh, a couple of weeks. We had a month or so. We had San Diego Comic Con where they, everybody comes with their trailers and announcements. And Disney's like, hey... I think you can make money on that. <laughs> Let's not do anything or, or most things on, on, on San Diego. Let's do our own convention. Yes. So And they did. And there was a lot of news coming from that, including footage from from upcoming uh, uh, releases like mm -hmm. The Mandalorian and Grogu, where people had a chance to see them in a snow planet. And we know a couple of those in the Star Wars universe. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And they just start fi filming. Yep. Um, they also got a sneak peek of season two of Andor. I guess Diego Luna was there. Yeah, says so season two. I plan to take take uh, some four years. It will take place in four years. It will take oh. will last four years. Uh, getting close to yeah. Rogue One. This is an interesting series because it, it has a pretty definitive end point. You know, Rogue One definitely ended all that so let's hope they keep it like that yeah I, there's only let's, so much let, they let's can hope some, some squeeze some, in some some suit some say hey, i have a great idea mm -hmm. what if the enterprise goes close to the planet at that <laughs> moment and beam them up there we go we have right. season three you know they could they could squeeze out <laughs> a season three if they can introduce some like really strong characters here um who can sort of take over and but continue then they, the, the show, whole, the like, show is called uh, Ender. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not saying it's a good idea. It's, it's, it's oh, oh, we, we were trying a bad way ideas. they could do that. <laughs> a way it could be done without wrecking the absolutely phenomenal ending of Rogue One. Yeah. Anyway, that's not all we saw from Star Wars. They also released a Skeleton Crew trailer, which you can find on YouTube. It's a uh, uh, Goonies. In space, I mean, in, in the galaxy far, far away. Yeah. Uh, they they managed to find the most suburban planet in the galaxy, which at this point, nowhere in the Star Wars lore has anything close. When to that. we say suburban, we mean like asphalt streets, yellow stripes, sidewalks, street lights, yeah. like white houses and fences. Yeah. So the aesthetic is is not right, at least in that first part of the trailer. Um, it is our, our heroes, our protagonists, our kids. Again, like I said, Goonies. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we don't know what moved them, what, but, but there's like a scene with a skeleton they, or, or it looks like a robot skeleton. It's like straight out of Goonies. Yeah, there's like a berry. They find a, a hatch in the woods. Um, the trailer doesn't honestly look super original, but, but there's potential there. That could be. It doesn't look original in that like this is like... Stranger Things throwback to 80s kids' adventure movies. Um, and at the end... But those were really fun. Yeah, and at the end, uh, there's a Jude Law Jedi. Or oh, is he? Anyways. A Jude uh, if you will. Uh, hoo -hoo. Uh, and, uh, and uh, we'll see. I, 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 saw the, I guess as long as it respects the, the, the lore and doesn't try to, to touch mm. much on the main story... It's like sure, it's valid. Why didn't you crap yeah, like? Yeah, it could be like, a fun way to you know to build out and. Why didn't you crap like? And and that would be similar to Rogue One since we're talking about Rogue One. Mm -hmm. It's like it, it tells a story that is is connected to the main story, but it's not the main story. Is 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 people affected by what's going on in the galaxy mm -hmm. and 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 their reactions, their actions to 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 I don't know to change to help change. Mm -hmm. And at some point connect, which I, I thought was very well done considering expanded universe mm -hmm. in the movies uh, uh, at this point. Uh, if if they go through that route, you know, these kids, a couple planets, and there's a Jedi there, maybe some influence of the Empire or, or, or evil guys. Sure. When, when they try to do crap like they did with the Acolyte, you know, that involves the Jedi Order, like even... Yoda is there, and and uh, Kiadi Moon that shouldn't be there. He shouldn't be alive. 
uh, uh, and, and, and redoing things on basically destroying concepts of the Jedi, the good guys, uh, the evil being not, not evil, mm -hmm. and also things like uh, uh, the Chosen One, right? The Chosen One now yeah. is like, it's not important because any witch can make one. Anyways, if they stick to 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 a, a story that is like independent but in the same universe, if it's written well, it it, it can get benefits from from being mm -hmm. in a galaxy far far away, uh, or not. We'll see. Yeah, I'm. I I want to be hopeful and optimistic. This could be this could be fun and and just a lame trailer. Well, the trailer wasn't lame. Derivative. There it is. Yeah, um, the, we'll the suburb of the suburban scenario, scenario was like, what? Yeah, that was a missed, that was a missed call. It kind of made me think of the, what do they call them, the mods in the book of Boba Fett. Yeah, Where like they could have been interesting characters, but the aesthetic the Power was Rangers. so wrong. And it sounds like such a petty thing, but Star Wars has a distinct aesthetic. And when you get it wrong, it's like, whoa, it's jarring it takes you yeah. right out of that universe again some sort of, what if i have a great idea what if we have a, a gang of kids in scooters <laughs> in the desert planet and we're gonna put them on tatooine where like people are so desperate for resources they literally farm water yeah but we're gonna make them shiny and colorful yes yeah Anyways, what it else? It didn't work. It didn't work. Okay, anyway, let's take a look. That's it from Star Wars. Let's go over to Marvel. We've got a trailer for Agatha all along. Oh, gosh. It's getting worse. <laughs> it could be... Uh, honestly, it's, it's unnecessary, but they are releasing it in September. It's going to have a two-episode premiere. Well, Halloween, I yeah, guess. Yeah, so it's just fun, spooky season vibes. I, like, I, feel, I feel like it's... Uh, 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 I remember comic books like X Men versus Dracula, right? Mm. Uh, no, I mean, no, I won't say nobody, but most people didn't buy because of Dracula; they bought because of the X Men, right? Sure. Uh, and it's like <coughs> Agatha was like a secondary, if not tertiary, character, even though she was like a, a main antagonist on one the invasion. She was. Uh, a, a, Considering that one that was was the villain, she's not the hero; she's the anti-hero. Mm -hmm. And then someone decided, it's like, we need to talk more about what uh, Agatha. I was like, no, we don't. That's it. Come on, not every story has to be an origin story, a prequel, a prologue. Mm -hmm. But they making it so. Uh, Catherine Khan or Han? I Han. Han. I wish it was Khan because it's like, yeah, she's Catherine Khan. But I guess nope. her parents stick to the old family name. Mm -hmm. But, oh, maybe it's not even family name. But, but yeah, Catherine Ken is back. This time uh, she has uh, some SNL's alumni colleagues. Uh, Zatri Zameda. No. So she's Zameda. So she's Zameda. Is there? Uh, um... Aubrey Plaza, who's not SNL, but it was funny on Parks, mm -hmm. sort of. And she's been playing sort of the same character forever. And this one is not different. It's going to be like a dark, evil... Yeah. <laughs> what was it? April? April Ludgate would love this character. <laughs> so uh, much. On the trailer, she, she just said, say, says things and hint things. I was like, hey, maybe they finally will do Mephisto. That would that would be fun if if April. <sighs> it's not the first time she's accused of being Mephisto on Legion. You think uh, Catherine Hahn would be? No, no. Aubrey Plaza. Uh, Aubrey, Aubrey Plaza. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, no, Catherine Hahn is, is, is Agatha. Yeah, yeah. That's established. Well, that's why I was confused. Yeah. So okay. No, yeah. No, some, no we're there. Some, some, some... If Aubrey Plaza were to be, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's uh there's uh it's not the first time she's been accused of being Mephisto. She was accused mm -hmm. of. Uh, People thought she was Mephisto on Legion, mm -hmm. uh, but then it turned out she was the the, the Shadow King. But uh, also, uh, Ryan Reynolds in recent interviews he said that uh, for the villain of the Deadpool, that turned out to be Cassandra Nova, uh, Xavier's sister. Uh, he said before that he considered Magneto and Mephisto. Mm. Uh, maybe the reason why he didn't use Mephisto is because Marvel was saving it. Maybe that would and, be that would be fun. Yeah. After and years again, of speculating. Yeah, and again, it, it could turn out to be something bigger or, or not, because 
Amazon and MCU, they are like gigantic as destroying the universe the next day. They are like a joke. So, yeah, yeah, but we'll yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will. So that is debuting or premiering in September. September. Um, they also announced Daredevil Born Again Season 1. Yes, the cast was there. There was footage with, with uh, Punisher and Kingpin. And they reshoot the whole thing because apparently the first time was bad. So let's see how this is going to be. Yikes. Okay. So that's coming in March 2025. Yes. Um, we also got some footage from Tron Ares. Yes. The third Tron movie that... The second one had potential, but it failed. Mm -hmm. And it was the third one was buried on on the limbo forever, and it finally seems to be coming out. It's gonna have uh, Jared Leto, because you know we have a limited number of actors that that can be used. Disney recycles our actors like crazy, yeah. and like like sometimes it's kind of cool. But... Yeah. I wonder if the, I wonder if there's financial things or like is a kind of deal that that's like oh we have this guy he's asking for sixty million I know Lethal will do four forty <laughs> I don't know but um, it's, there's definitely there's definitely that kind of thing uh, also maybe also maybe it's like after after working for them and failing maybe there's like I'm willing to fail I don't care I'll make my money and. Mm. and and, uh, and again, if the movie doesn't fit, if the movie hits, it's like, even though the person made less, if the studios come with a, with a deal for another one, now you can negotiate and get more money. So it's Maybe. business. So uh, Jair Lito is, is, is uh, in a main role, and uh -huh. it was also announced. They made a big deal. For me, it's, I don't know them. I don't care. Some people might love them. Some people might think they're the greatest thing since sliced bread. But it was announced that Nine Inch Nails gonna work on the soundtrack. Nine Inch Nails, that is the okay. Jarlito's band. Uh, Wait, that's his band? Is it? No. Yeah. I thought Nine Inch Nails, they're like a metal band for a while. Well, he, can he do metal? Sure, sure, sure. But I feel like they were their own thing. 30 seconds to Mars. Never mind. Yeah. Now he's banned. Yeah. Okay. But nine inch nails. Again, I don't know. I don't care. Uh, like, I don't know. I don't care. 30 inches, 10, 30 inches to Mars. 30 seconds. Inch, inch seconds. It's seconds. It's all, it's all, it's, it's all not a metric. But okay. anyway. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, also, also those guys, Trent Reznor and his, his friend collaborator that makes those cool soundtracks going to be involved in soundtrack. Hmm. Okay. You know, the, 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 the guys that did the Mandalorian. Mm. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, dun, my dun, gosh. Dun, dun, What's dun. that guy's name? Trent Reznor in, in Ar Atkus. Uh, oh, gosh. No, it's a Swedish name. Yeah, it's Atkus. 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 Anyway, yeah. Unbelievable. And he has maybe the weirdest filmography I've seen. He did Social Network, right? And, um... New Girl. Who did New Girl? Gordonson. Is his name. Ludwig Gordonson. No. Wait. Is Ludwig Gordonson I'm thinking, I'm thinking yeah, right? Mm, I'm mixing. You might be thinking of somebody else. I was missing a lot of them. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Tron. Eris. Mm -hmm. Eris, the god of war. Sound. Track. Daft Punk? No. Uh, okay, let me put the uh, uh, let me put uh, the name here for you that are listening to us. We are looking mm -hmm. for things. This is really exciting stuff happening. Right yeah, now. for you watching it, there's not, uh, maybe that's the guy from the Nine Inch Nails, and I'm mixing all the names. Yeah, Trent Reznor. Headlines front is the front man for Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. Clearly not a band we've listened to a lot. They're one yeah. of the bands like, ah, yes, I'm aware of their existence. Yeah, he's a guy. He's actually the guy that did Social Network, which I thought was pretty big. Cool. Mm, okay. Yeah. So not the guy who did Mandalorian. No. That well, was maybe they're working together. Anyways, maybe. Now, now let's move on from this. Okay. We'll talk more about it when it gets closer. Let's it's, move on to Avatar. 
and not wow. the good one. You no. Oh, we're not talking about the, the, the Shyamalan one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Avatar, I'm not going to stay on Avatar much. Cause yeah, it, it just does, the deserve. Avatar 3, it's got a title. This is James Cameron's yeah. Blue People Avatar. It's got a title, Avatar Fire the and Fire Ash. The Fire Tribe. I mean, no, the Fire Nation. No, yeah, no. the Fire and Ash. Fire and Ash. Now, book three of Avatar The Last Bender is Fire. But anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, let's finish with something cute and happy. Um, Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis were both there for Freaky Friday 2. They got a standing ovation. Yeah. Warm fuzzies. I, 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 I love Freaky Friday. I thought mm-hmm. they were great on it, both of them mm-hmm. and everybody else. Uh, Did you ever see the, the original movie? The, well, it's... The one with the blondie? With Jodie Foster. Yeah. When she was a teenager. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, and her mom. Because that's the story. That's right. Is that, is that a one before that? No. No, I don't think is, so. Was that based on a book or was it yes. original? It was based on a book. I'm pretty sure it's a book. Oh, okay. Anyways. Uh, no, I haven't read it. So, yeah, no, again, I, I, I love the, the, the original. I thought Lohan was, mm-hmm. was cute and funny. Jamie Lee was... was She's a great actress. Talented, yeah. yeah. An apple baby, even though she's gonna deny it. Uh, anyways, I feel like at uh, this point, though, she's earned her place. But but the 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 a sequel is like, what they're gonna do is like, you know, it's like, I don't know. Do does it Lindsay again? have a kid now and they're gonna switch? Yeah. How are they gonna? Are they gonna switch they again? Did, they did a series of movies in Brazil about that. I was like, if I was you. Mm. Uh, and it was about a couple, mm-hmm. and uh, changing changing place in the middle of the woman, and you know this the source for a lot of jokes. You know, a man and a woman's universe, a woman is the man's universe, and, mm-hmm. and all all that comes with it. And at the end, they joke, and I can't remember if they did that on Freaky Friday, uh, but at the end they joke that Grandpa changes places with grandson. You know, it's just like a tease at the oh, end of the movie. Oh, that's right. Uh, and, and then it comes the sequence and they kind of ignore that. Like mm. it was just like a day or... I mean, actually, if we could find it, it's just a day. Yeah. Uh, but but it's... it's uh, I don't know what they're going to do. We'll see. Mm-hmm. We will see. All right, that's all we got this week. Yes. Uh, so... We'll be back next week with more Pop Culture. We're gonna be back next week with more Pop Culture news. There we go. Maybe more dancing. Oh, lucky and you! In, and entertainment. <laughs> May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Bye. Bye.